PDP gubernatorial candidate in Fainwa Igodalo urges women to mobilize for the victory of PDP at the polls. You're on to the EBS Comprehensive News tonight. A warm welcome to the comprehensive news tonight. I am Oyemesi Ude. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has criticized President Bola Tinubu for not addressing the nation amid the nationwide and bad governance protests. In a statement this Saturday, PDP National Publicity Secretary Debo Olugunagba urged President Tinubu to break his silence and address the nation on the pressing issues affecting them. He said the president's silence is sending a very dangerous signal and heightening public apprehension that the all-progressive Congress APC government is insensitive to the feelings of the citizens of Nigeria and the overall sorry state of affairs in the nation. Benin City residents have started calling on President Bola Tinubu to urgently address Nigeria's, Nigeria on ways to restore sanity in the social and economic challenges facing the nation in order to halt the ongoing nationwide protest from assuming a worsening dimension. This is coming as the nationwide protest against hunger and other negatives in the country enter its third day on Saturday, 3rd August 2024. Justin Igbo who monitored activities of protesters in parts of Benin City, apart from the Obalvorame Square, approved for the protest. Reports say that major roads are still being blocked, making residents to face hectic times. The report. Pressure is mounting on daily basis on the people, drivers, market women and men, among others, as some major streets are still being blocked, leaving drivers forced to increase their transport fares by over 100%. This situation forced many without sufficient fund to trek long distances to meet their daily obligations. Some policemen, however, helped to douse the tension arising from the insistence by the protesters that the roads be blocked, but only for the protesters to return their obstructions to the road few minutes after the police officers left the scene. We are suffering in Nigeria, so we are trying to show our rights. We are not destroying anything, no walking today, okay. no walking class are passed. Period. Popular Ramad Park in Benin City was also heavily obstructed from free flow of vehicular movement as protesters attempt to resist efforts of the police to open the road to motorists. Few meters away from the gate of Edu Broadcasting Service at Aduawa also shared from the blockade spree. Some businessmen and women, deeply worried by the harsh economic policies of the present Ahmed Bola Tunubu administration, lamented that patronage has dropped drastically owing to the protest and called on the president to address the situation. Okay, one person not come out for how many days? They don't make a little day. One person won't take it. When we even they come out, they never block road. Go, not go. Come, not go. Food person not feed back. Person not feed do anything. Now when they don't block road, now person go go feed back it. I've been I go see the money. Some markets now, all market people they outside. People who they want to eat for children, they know they feed it. Last night they said it's yet another bad as on Tuesday. It's supposed to be like that. No, it's not supposed to be like that. The protest night that they come. That they do their own, they never worry us for years. Yeah. And that they pass, they're not destroyed, they're not that to anything. Okay. But as it is now, that sort of going increase now. Okay. Like transport, now we want to from here to Ramat and they'll say 400. Because they said they're not sick forever. Okay. No market in Niger, no, 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 no food, no food. This is what you have to do. How do you pay me for your bus? Where do you find one for your bus? What do you do with this? 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 So how many things do you do with this? May they continue about what yes. they do most of this year. Hope everybody come to market. Expectations are high among Nigerians that on expiration of the declared 10 days nationwide protest, better days are near. Justin Egmont, EBS News.
Men of the Nigerian police on Saturday opened fire on protesters and journalists at the MK Wabiola Stadium in Abuja. It was gathered that protesters, mostly youths, had gathered in front of the stadium for the day three of the 10 days' protest to end bad governance in Nigeria. However, the heavily harmed men who arrived at the venue around 11.45 a.m. ordered them to leave following their refusal to obey the order. The police men opened fire on the protesters, including journalists, at the venue. The Pan Niger Delta Forum has commended youths, ex agitators, and other groups in the Niger Delta region for their peaceful disposition during the nationwide protests against bad governance. The forum, however, called on the various groups to end the protests, saying their voices have been heard. The National Publicity Secretary of Pandef, Ken Robinson, made the call in a statement issued in Port Harcourt on Saturday. Robinson said the call for them to discontinue the protest followed incidents of looting and destruction of lives and properties in some parts of the country. He expressed dismay, dismay that hoodlums and criminal elements may catch in on the situation to hijack the protest and cause a breakdown of law and other in the region. The Castina State Police Command has disclosed that 64 hoodlums were arrested with 693 bags of fertilizer they stole from a warehouse in Doshima, local government area of the state, on the first day of the nationwide protest. The command spokesperson, Abubakar Sadiq Aliyu, who disclosed this in a telephone interview, said the hoodlums vandalized the fertilizer warehouse in Doshima Township and cut it away with 693 bags, but were later arrested. ASP Sadiq said that the disorderly behavior of the unruly protesters compelled the state government to impose a 24-hour curfew on the Shimon local government area and a 7 p.m. to 8 a.m. curfew on the remaining 33 local governments of the state. The nationwide protest turned violent in Doshima Township where earlier the protesters burnt down the party office of the All Progressive Congress, APC. The Nigerian military says it will intervene of violence recorded if some states in the ongoing nationwide protests tact and bad governance in Nigeria escalates. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, who stated this during a press conference in Abuja, said the military would step in to control the looting and violence being witnessed in some parts of the country. The CDS noted that while he was aware of the grievances of the protesters on the challenging economic situation in the country, he said they must show understanding. He said that the military and other security agencies would not fold their arms and allow his country to be destroyed. The protests with the hashtag and bad governance which started on Thursday has so far claimed no fewer than 17 lives, while some government facilities in some states and individual properties have been vandalized. Wife of the Edo State PDP governorship candidate Mrs. Infaiwa Igodalo has emphasized the need for women to mobilize and ensure victory for the candidates of the PDP in the forthcoming governorship election in the state. Mrs. Infeiwa stated this while she visited Opebolo women in Esan West local government area, Agbazilo women in Esan Southeast local government area in Edo Central Senatorial District. Friday, Imoto was there and he tells us more. Opewolo women in Esa lands welcoming the wife of the PDP governorship candidate, Mrs. Ifeinwa Igodalu, to the area. Welcoming Mrs. Igodalu, wife of the chairman Esa West Local Government Council, Mrs. Vivian Ofure Aigbogun, who was pleased with the turnout by the women, applauded Mrs. Ifeinwa Igodalu for her visit to the locality, which she says is a sign of victory for the PDP. Coming firstly, he came to visit us today. I want to say that we are all out to 
make sure that Asan West, Asan Central and Igwebe is for Aswen Igodalu. Responding, Mrs. Ifeinwa Igodalu emphasized on the plans by Dr. Aswe Igodalu for Edo women, noting that she will ensure that women are treated with utmost priority and given a sense of belonging in the scheme of things in the state. She commended the women for their hard work and support for her husband, who she says when elected as governor of Edo State, will build on the successes of Governor Godwin Obaseki in transforming the state. I want to thank our governor, Governor Baseki, for the good work we don't do. We were there here. We women we gather here today on behalf of Unapiki. Now Unapiki will be ahead. Una no say piki way mama back, you know they fall. So as all of Una day here, all of Una way day here, ha, how one as we may go fall. Una go agree. Some of the women who spoke unanimously say they will ensure the victory of Dr. Aswe Igodalo and Osadion Ogi, Esquire, come September 21, 2024. Now your time to choose how you want to make your life and your children life be tomorrow. Today, not only advice that they give people. If you come to Edo today, Aswe Igodalo is more popular in Edo than Isha. Edo by the special grace of God, will be better than it is now under our Papa as well We go so support where we get value for women. And that man and Aswe Ogi. So come September 21, where will they go? Umbrella. Come back home, talk to women. If you are in the market, talk to them. My caps, people have removed caps from my head. I give in the same vein, Mrs. Ifeinwa Igodalu met with Agbazilo women of Esan Land in Ewohimi, Esan Southeast local government area, to discuss strategy towards winning the forthcoming Edo governorship election. The Edo state governorship election is scheduled to hold September 21, 2024. Friday a Himoto. EBS News. Report just written on says President Bola Tinubu will address the nation in a broadcast tomorrow, Sunday, August 4th, 2024, at 7 a.m. The special advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, Anjiru Ngalali, made this known in a statement on Saturday. He urged television, radio, and other electronic media outlets to join the network services of the Nigerian Television Authority and the Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria for the broadcast. The time once more is 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. This is where we gradually take our first break for tonight. But just before we do that, let's remind you that you can watch Edo Broadcasting Service TV on Star Times and 113 and Go TV Channel 141. For more on our news, you can subscribe to Edo Broadcasting Service Television on YouTube and X Up. Also follow EBS TV and Radio Reloaded on Facebook. You can now report to motorists driving against traffic one way by recording a video of the vehicle and sending the recorded video to the WhatsApp number on your screen 081. 320-30846 is the number to call. We like to go on a first break, but just before we do that, let's remind you that Bonu State Police Command discovers six projectile grenades at in the Larry part of the state. Details of these and more when we return from this break. Do please stay on with us. Congratulations. 
members of the Palasha Garden of Ogefa of Benin Kingdom and late Madame Rose Ogefa Ni Oloki Kodale invite you to their late mother's remembrance, Thanksgiving and birthday party of Chief Osadola Ogefa, the Enobori of Egba, Chief Executive Officer Grafa Conglomerate, Chairman Nigerian Football Supporters Club and Bender Insurance Football Supporters Club. Date Tuesday 13th August 2024 Time 1 p.m. Venue 21 Navy Street of Mission Road Benin City. You are the best father anyone could ever ask for. Daddy, you will always be our favorite superhero. We love you today, tomorrow, and forever. We can't wait to celebrate your special day with you. Happy birthday, Daddy. Sign Prince I.K. Ogefa Usadolo. Patience Ogefa Usadolo. David Elliot Ogefa Usadolo and grandchildren. Who are those trying to set Edo State ablaze? The identities of some of the culprits have been established. These are a few of them. We call upon the Nigerian police to do their job and ensure that these culprits are brought to justice and made to face the full wrath of the law. There is ample video evidence in the public domain demonstrating the culpability of these non-state actors who wreaked havoc on innocent citizens in Benin City on Thursday, July 18, 2024. We cannot be looking for the culprits when we have already caught some of them in the act. Therefore, we urge the Nigerian police to immediately arrest these individuals for a thorough investigation into the incidents that led to the breakdown of law and order in our dear state. No, no go front. People. No go follow front. People. Now what you see today? Not be men we sabi. We no go vote any other person. No. We no go vote if we no be PDP. We no go vote any other party. No. We no go vote for whatever you go. If I swear they dare, we go prosper. Allah go down, we no dey go back. I swear you go down low for governor. Ay 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 ay. For whatever. Sure you go vote for PDP. Oh yes, PDP. Oh yes, vote he go dalo. Oh yes, he go do am. Oh yes, man we sabi. Oh yes, integrity. Oh yes, he go better mama. Oh yes, better papa. Oh yes, go better picking. Oh yes, better edo. Oh yes, aye 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 aye. For whatever I do, if I swear the day we go prosper, I love you. Vote Aswe Igodalo for Governor Edo 2024. Ajimarele yo 
If you don't reveal and let me on with me, I get you a sell if you mind the land they be. I swear no we go talo. B O S A R O D O N O V I O G. Ele o pa da sabo he o to e do reveal no send. E do ki e wo na regbeta wo to ag mo reveal. P D P O Dalo Dalo. The Edo 2024 governorship election. We have two major contenders. Let us hear from both candidates so we can decide who is fit to be our next governor. The Honorable Minister, His Excellency, sir. APC! We are APC. Restore our educational system back. To restore the security system back. To restore our infrastructure back. Edo Jaga Jaga Yahoo Yahoo people I don't for before this gov this governor coming to office what are we owing? They are Yahoo people Montras because our profile is rising every day they want to use the sound of a gun to silence us. Is it going to be possible? Because we are bringing practical governance into this state. Our money, our business are taken away from this state. So we all agree that we need a new Edo. Edo that will be a truly state of our dream. That was Monday of Bewolo of the APC. Now listen to Dr. Aswe Igodalo of the PDP. I see a picture where a do state will pull up the rest of Nigeria if a do state realizes its full potential. And because of the work and the labors of our heroes past in a do state, we have laid a foundation. Now is takeoff time. If we don't have somebody that sees how we can take off, we will stay where we are. There's gold in a do state. There's lithium. There's no kind of resource we don't have. Those resources are things we humans will use for our betterment. The path I see for a do state is very clear. You have heard from both candidates. The difference is clear. Reject incompetence. Vote for competence. Vote for excellence. Vote for Dr. Aswe Igodalo. Vote PDP. Yes, you're still on to the UBS Comprehensive News. We're glad that you still joined us. Just two more stories to go on the Comprehensive News tonight. A group of lawmakers in the House of Representatives says calls for the removal of the group chief executive officers of the Nigerian Petroleum Company Limited, Mela Carey, and the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, Farouk Ahmed, are premature. The concerned federal legislator made their position known while addressing reporters in Abuja. The report. The lawmakers noted that the House had mandated its joint committees on petroleum midstream and downstream to investigate the pertinent issues in the oil and gas sector and advised it accordingly. In an address presented by Honorable Billy Osaru, the lawmaker said it is in the parliamentary culture to afford parties in an investigation the right to fair hearing. They said the call for removal of anyone while the investigation is pending is premature. We wish to state that it is in the parliamentary culture to afford parties in investigation the right for fair hearing. Therefore, the call for removal of anyone while investigation is pending is premature. We therefore call on all Nigerians to be patient and law-abiding in the expectation of a better Nigeria. We also express concern about the protests in the country. Having observed the nationwide protests, we commend the youths and Nigerians in general for the manner they have conducted themselves. We appeal for calm while imploring all Nigerians to bring the protests to an end. The group, however, maintains that the hike in fuel prices and associated challenges remain fundamental concerns of lawmakers. Henrietta Momodu, EBS News. The Bonny Police Command says it has discovered six projectile grenades 
allegedly abandoned by terrorists at Adalari Cross area in Meduguri. The Commissioner for Police in the state, Mr. Yusuf Lawal, who disclosed this on Saturday while providing a situation report, said the projectors were discovered on Friday. Lawal said that the personnel of the explosive ordnance device EOD Base 13 deployed to the scene to assess the grenade that, dis that was discovered. They discovered that they were manufactured with incendiary chemicals. He said the affected area was thoroughly screened and the projectors were recovered intact, rendering the area very safe. It's on this note we gradually have come to the end of the comprehensive news tonight. But just before we go, a quick reminder here that when you find any security breach or you find any suspicious movement in your area, please report to the relevant security agencies. If you see something, say something. Remember that security is everyone's business. That does it on our comprehensive news tonight. On behalf of the entire production crew, I'd like to thank you for staying with us and for having a great time with us. Have a beautiful and a splendid evening. I am Oyeme. See you there. Bye-bye.